Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to um, use a triangle calculator to make a perfect circle and it's a few tricks for um, building armor on vehicles and stuff like that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and resize this wedge a little bit because I want this to be a fairly small wedge. And then you're going to think about how many segments you want for a full circle or a half circle, whatever you're doing. So you divide that number. So I want I want 30, so I'm going to divide that. Oh no. 360 divided by 30 segments is 12. So I have a link for this in the description. You want to put... 12 right here and then side B is right here so this is this face so you can leave that blank if you want but I usually have my wedge at like 0 0.2 so I'm going to put 0 0.2 right there and as you can see now we have a equals 0 0.962, which is this um, from here to here. So we can use that. We now resize your wedge. 0 0.962. And it, it does round it down a little bit because um, I guess it just wants to keep the numbers clean, but it is actually 0 0.962 right now. So now, I set that as my increment, and, oh wait, we need to go from up here. So, zero point nine six two takes a, a little bit to figure this out sometimes. Did I maybe get the wrong note? Oh wait, I'm stupid. Um, yeah, let's redo that, right? So our wedge, which is point two tall, we set C equals nine point. Or zero point nine four one. And then we use A as our increment, which is zero point nine six two. So now it'll work. Oh, I put that in the wrong thing. There we go. So sometimes you have to like delete that to get it to um actually go on there, but as you can see it is actually making like a perfect surface there. And you can use that like for anything you want. Another thing you can do is Kind of an interesting thing here so we're gonna say we want six sides so six times two is 12 so now 360 divided by 12 equals 30 so we put 30 in here Then two point three four six, and this is actually an easy increment here. Point And 
make a um, different type of wedge circle here. These tend to take less parts to make, but they're uh, kind of a weird shape. Sometimes you have to um, drag that out and put like a block on it to be able to actually get this wedge on here correctly. Oh, have I messed that up? Yes, I have, okay. Put that on backwards. It's supposed to be this way. I did it wrong, but I'll show you one that isn't done wrong. I managed to get it correct in here. So, inside this wheel here, I used it for the spokes. We make the transparency zero. And get rid of these. You can see it's right there. It's kind of a funny looking wedge. If I paint these red, you can see how they uh how they go on there. And then I'll show you what I did with the triangle calculator. Um So I uh, I did all these bends here, and then I also did this whole um, front plate here, and this is kind of a weird thing I did, the triangle calculator, so these come out like that, as you can see. Those are kind of weird. I'll show you how to do that though. So you'll have your armor on an angle like this, or whatever angle you want. And then you'll have your, your wedge like that. So it'll be like this. And then how to put the other wedge there, is you take this wedge, put it here, and then you move it in. That's going to need a weird increment. Probably 0 0.005. But once you have that there, you take this wedge, and you fill that little gap in between there. And then you get this and that, and those weld. See, very very useful little thing there. But yeah, that's pretty much what you can do with this thing. I did this um whole front plate here. It's kind of a difficult difficult piece to do, but it's very useful. But yeah, that's pretty much how you use it. Um, I'll see you later.